Hey guys, we're here today in my very own room to film kind of a review video. It's a day before my birthday and I got as an early present because I saw it because I was hauling in groceries I got a magic set. I'm gonna review, be reviewing it and then also explaining some of the tricks. Most of the tricks you need some props. There's some you can only do with this magic set's props or you can create it your own from this video. One of those is the mental freak trick used from these cards. You have to, if you're making your own you have to copy down oh there's a mosquito every single number can't tell if you guys can see that but for every one here's the second one and they all have to be on different cards So there's that one. Another one, you need four balls and three cups. For another one, you will need a fake thumb, so you guys can see there, and a silk handkerchief, as you can see here. Hmm. You can also need a little box that can open and shut with a fake bottom that you can put in, and a card. You'll need a box with a lid that fits over any side, and a multicolored dice with different colors on each side. I will be telling you the effect this trick has and the props you need and the preparation to set it up. <sighs> Let's get to it. For this trick we're going to be starting with a pretty, pretty simple sequence follow. So you're going to ask your audience or one special helper you could call it, volunteer to try to follow the sequence. So, what you're gonna try to do is get all these flipped up, all of these flipped up the wrong right way with a sequence. So you do the sequence first, and you have to tell your audience to try to follow. See if you can follow it on this one. Did you follow that? If so, put the sequence in the comment section down below. The way you will put it is, like, say it's, you start with A, C, you put A plus C, then you put a colon, then the next one, and so on and so forth. This works if the middle cup's down, the middle cup's up and the other two are down, or like this. Okay, so... You guys can take some time by pausing the video or replaying to find out the sequence. If you don't want to find out the sequence, you can just skip this part of the video. But, so here's the sequence. You have two down, two up. You go A plus B. Then you go A plus C. And then you go A plus B. That's going to end with all of them face down. If you do the same thing, A plus B, A plus C... A plus B, except with them uh, outside two face down, then it'll end with all them facing up. That's just a pretty simple, easy trick. Now let's get to the next trick. The props for this trick is three cups, one sec, and four balls. As you can see there, these are just spongy balls, you can use any kind of balls. I just found the sponge balls easier. So to start the trick, no, I'm just gonna do the trick for you guys. 
don't need these at the moment, but I'll keep them in the camera so you know I'm not doing anything with them. And we flip these down, put one of these balls on top. And it goes through. We do the same thing except cover that ball. But these two. Now there's two balls. Do the same thing. But this one. There's three balls. And now I'm going to try to make a ball up here. Get all those balls in there. Okay. Now there's four balls. I'm going to show you the steps to do this trick and then how it works. So obviously the props, as I said before, were four balls, sponge balls, whatever you want, and three cups, any kind of cups, except they have to be the same. So the way you start the trick off is taking one ball and putting it in the middle cup. Put one on the top, one on the bottom. And then you take your other three balls, put them in the top. Then you dump out these three onto the thing. And then when you flip it over, flip this one quickly onto the ground so they don't see the ball fall out. That way, because when you put the ball on the top of the middle, it'll look like it's penetrating through the cup. But in reality, there was just one in the middle cup. Then you continue those steps with the rest of the balls. And then to make four pop up, you just do like, say I'm going to make one reappear. And just magic gestures or whatever. And it will appear. But it will just pop through. The next trick, I can only tell you guys. Because... I need like a volunteer or maybe I don't know I'll see if I can convince Cameron to come here to help me as you guys can see here we've got Cameron here to help us with this trick so Cameron I need you to pick an age in your head we have the camera can't really see these I'm just placing these cards down as I showed you guys before so Cameron, I need you to pick an age in your head because I know your age. And pick every one of these cards and take them away that has your age on it. But don't move the order. Okay. Well, shut off the camera and then show the cards. Did so pick all the ages that are on the cards. It's fine if you as a magician sees them pick. It won't ruin the trick unless you see the number they're picking. But that's pretty hard because there's a bunch of numbers on them. Okay, is that all? Yeah. Okay, we'll get back to you guys when the camera's back on the tripod. So Cameron, you've taken away all the cards with your age? Yeah. Okay, show the camera the cards. I'm going to leave the room. Tell the, ca the camera your age that you chose. Y'all need to come back in. There are my cards. I have picked the age of 28. So I take it you guys know his age now. I'm going to try to read his mind to find the age. So Cam, just think about that age. I have to be sitting. You have it in your mind. Mm -hmm. Was your age 28? I was thinking a 72, but my age was 28. <laughs> okay. So, put these here. Now I'm going to do one more trick before I explain this trick, then I'm I'll going. explain both of them. No, okay, I'm going to need you. Okay. So, as you can see, we just have this box. So I'm going to tell Cameron to take this box, he can inspect it, then put the color of his choice up without me knowing. Then put the lid on the box and give it to my hands that are behind my back. 
Jeez, you just like almost destroyed the camera there. I'm sorry. Cameron. Or no, that was bad because it was above the camera. I didn't take it off. I'll tell you guys how I did it. But Cameron, was your color blue? Yeah. It was. Okay. Now Cameron, you're done here. If you want to stay for the rest of the video, you can. If you don't, you can go. Okay, guys. So the way I did those tricks was, so these are special cards that you can make yourself, yes, but when you put them in the order from least to greatest, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, what, pretty much whatever age they pick, if you, so say they pick 11, they have to take away all the cards with 11, so these two have 11, this one has 11, so these are the cards that are left, but these are left in the right order. So you'll know what cards are missing. So you'll know the top left hand numbers. So then you take those num numbers, 1, 2, and 8, and add them together. So 1, 2, 1 plus 2 plus 8 equals 11. So that creates an illusion that you're reading their mind. So there's that one. And I know you guys are going to say I cheated and just looked in the box. But when you're doing this to the audience, you don't just lift it up and look. So when you ask to pass it behind your back, slowly behind your back, you put the lid on like this. See? But keep that side to yourself. And then when he, I pretend to, like, try to see through it, I'm really just looking at this. And then just sneak your hands behind your back, turn it the right way. And show the spectators there's nothing wrong with it. They'll just say there's a hole, but you let them inspect so there was no holes. So they can rule that out. So there's that trick. So this trick I'm going to show you guys. I need my stuffs. Hmm. What trick? I shall be doing the disappearing handkerchief. So... We have this handkerchief, right? Everything's normal with it. I promise you nothing's wrong with it. So, I'm going to put it into my fist. You can see here. Just shoving it in. Now it's gone. But, I can make it reappear. Just like that. And it's back. So, the prop for this trick is a fake thumb and the handkerchief. So, what you do is you start the trick with the fake thumb on, and you. Stupid mosquito. And you use the handkerchief to cover it. And when you put it into your fist, you slowly pull the thumb off. As you can see, it would be in there. Then you just shove the scarf into your thumb. Thumb. Pull it out, but keep, like, shoving in so it looks like you're still shoving in it to somewhere, then take it out. If you don't get the thumb really far on, I don't think I did that time, but it'll look like this. It's not that good. So you have to shove it way, way, way into the back. Like, way into the back. Like so. So there's that trick. This trick, I have to have this. Grab my card. So here, as you can see, we just have the normal box. Nothing's wrong with it. So we're going to take this card and just put it in here. And the card is gone. So there's that.
the way we did it was a fake bottom. So how you start the trick is you put this in the lid. So I usually put it on this side. That's why I was holding it like this. And put the card in the other side. And just go. And it makes it like it's gone. Go to mosquito. But you can't make it reappear because it will be upside down. Unless you do that. I've never done that before. So that pretty much wraps it up for all the tricks I have for today. Unless... Do I have any more in here that I know how to do? No, I don't have any more I know how to do at the moment. But, that's fine. There's so many mosquitoes in my room. So, there's all those completed. And there's pretty much a step-by-step -step on how to do it. So, if you're looking to buy this stuff, you can look. Where is it? You go to Chris Angle you go to chrisangel.com yep then it'll show you all the magic tricks and how to do them and I'm pretty sure you can buy some stuff off of it so yeah hope you guys like the video make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell to make sure you don't miss any of our new videos